name is Tristan, and I hope you're having a great day. I wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day to talk to me. It's nice to meet you. The first question is, where, you're, where are you from? Yeah, so I, uh, I grew up in a little town, about 1,800 people, just east of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee. So a little town called Blaine. So and I went to, uh, I went to high school uh, a little bit further away, but it was in the same county called Granger County. And uh, so I went to Granger High School and I graduated from there in 2015. Okay, this kind of goes with the first one, but um, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you choose? Yeah, me and, uh, me and my wife right now, we live in Atlanta and um, it's just convenient for training. There's a lot of pro guys uh, that are down here, so a lot of talent and, uh, and good people to be around. The guy that I hit with uh, is from here, so it's just super convenient um, to be in Atlanta. So right now I would... I'd have to say here, but we uh, we love Arizona, where the Angels have spring training, and so um, eventually we think we'd like to settle down out there. But we'll just kind of see where my career and where God's plan takes us. Mm -hmm. um, during spring training, um, me and my dad went to the Angels uh, like spring training stadium, mm -hmm. and we actually saw you. And I asked you your favorite song. Also, what's your favorite song? My favorite song? Yeah. Uh, it's called Start Over by NF. It's a Christian rap song. Yeah. Ooh, that, uh, that, one's, that one's pretty fluid. I, uh, I listen to a lot of music, but right now, um, i kind of been stuck on a song called Firm Foundation, and I'm blanking on who sings it. Actually, I don't know if it's Passion City Worship or if it's Maverick City Worship, um, but it's a Christian song, so that's probably the one I'm... I've got on replay right now. I'll have to give it a listen. Yeah, check it out for sure. Um, the day you got drafted, how did you feel? Oh yeah, it was. Um, it was. It, it's it's hard to describe even to today. Like um, it almost didn't seem real. It's something that you work hard for and you pray for and um, you dream about ever since you were a little kid. And when it finally comes, it's almost like numbing kind of breathtaking so it almost took a couple days for it to set in and it but it was it was a blessing and it was it was so exciting just being able to celebrate with my family and friends uh so it was it was super cool um going with that who was the first person you called or like told um my mom was actually working i got i got drafted i think at like maybe like 3 p.m or something like that and uh obviously it was summertime i got drafted on june 9th so my pops being a teacher he was sitting at home. We were watching it on the iPad. So the first person we called was my mom. And then uh, my grandparents lived like right up the hill, probably 20 yards away. So we had to run up and see them right after. How did you like the Salt Lake City Bees? I love playing for the Bees. They uh, is, they welcomed us with open arms. Um, it was a fun place to be. Obviously, it's with the ball flying and the elevation up there. It was definitely a fun park to play in. So. Line towards right center field. Cabbage on the run, stretches out, and makes a sensational diving catch. What a play by Trey Cabbage. What was it like to get your first career hit? That similar feeling of getting drafted. It was it, it was kind of like one of those uh, notches in your belt. Like, I made it, I belong, and it was just, it was beautiful to have my... Uh, wife fiance at the time um there my family and just being able to celebrate that and, and thanking god for the opportunity it was it was awesome i uh i definitely got to first and thank the lord and then I, I looked around in the stadium just to take in the moment when you got or when you got your first um home run like hit yeah mm -hmm. home run hit did you get to keep the ball yeah, so I was actually lucky enough. I hit it up in the batter's eye at uh, at Angel Stadium, and uh, it rolled down like near the rocks and left center. So we had um, one of the Angels staff members was able to go out there and retrieve the ball. So they uh, they framed it, authenticated it, and everything like that. And so I gave it and my first hit to uh, to my parents. So they've got it sitting in my childhood bedroom right now. Um, what stat of yours do you like to watch the most? What stat of mine? Yes. Um, I, uh, be, just being a power guy, I like, I definitely like to keep up with my homers and make sure I'm driving the ball. Um, but it was, uh, it was pretty cool last year. I, I stole a career high in bases. I stole 33 total. So that was a pretty fun one to watch the number tick up. Um, what's your favorite minor league stadium? That I played in? 
Um, I, re- I really liked playing in uh, in Wichita. I played in Wichita in 2021. Um, it was a brand new stadium in 2020, and obviously the season got canceled. So in 21, we were the first team to actually get to play there. And so that was pretty cool. And um, just the setup they had, like just the view of the skyline behind it. And I, I just felt like felt comfortable to play there. So I would have to say probably Wichita. Um, but the Angels AA Rocket City is – very similar in in the design so i really liked it too it's a close second um at like um games what's the most annoying thing fan, fans do at the games oh uh, well obviously you know my last name's cabbage so i get a lot of <laughs> lettuce coleslaw and um <laughs> you know sauerkraut and stuff like that and it's not annoying i mean i like jeers and you know everybody kind of chanting and stuff like that but i uh i do i do find it kind of funny when people come up with something new so if it's just the same old sauerkraut or coleslaw it's like all right come up with something different yeah <laughs> mm-hmm. um do you like to snooze or like get right up in the mornings oh it definitely depends on the day where it's been freezing cold recently that snooze button is looking real real nice but uh just, you know, getting up and staying disciplined. I like to, you know, as soon as it goes off, put my feet on the floor and go ahead and either get the coffee going or jump in the shower and get the day started. Just makes everything flow a little easier throughout the day. Uh, with that, what's your typical day usually like? Yeah, so I'll do uh, I'll do an off-season day first. Um, I usually go and uh, I work out between 9 and 10 at a place called Maven Baseball Lab here in Atlanta. Um, and then – you know, depending on what time I work out, I'll hit soon after. So if I work out at nine, I'll hit at 10, 15 and uh, 10. Obviously, I'll hit about 1130 or so. Um, and then once I get done with that, probably come home about. We'll say, especially later in the off season, doing live at bats and hitting outside, I'll get home about 130 or two o'clock um, and then uh, make something to eat, you know, binge watch a little Netflix, uh, rest up and then you know get ready to have supper with my wife. So. Um, season days are a lot more, uh, like kind of scheduled out. I, uh, I do sleep in later because we have six thirty-five hanging over our head or seven o'clock game start. Uh, so I like to sleep in a little bit more, sleep into 10 30, 11 o'clock, get up and have breakfast. Um, I like to get to the ballpark early. So, uh, I usually try to show up about noon or 12 30, um, have some, either have lunch at, uh, the apartment and take it in or uh, pick something up on the way in if I'm feeling lazy. And um, once we get to the yard, it'll be um, – I usually go talk to the hitting coach. We'll, you know, kind of just chat, just normal life stuff, kind of get loose and everything. Um, and then once uh, once I get there and have something to eat, I'll go to the weight room, start foam rolling, stretching out, getting loose. Um, I like to get in there and hit early, about probably like 1 o'clock, eh, probably like one thirty, closer to 2, um, before, you know, our open cage time. The uh, BP is usually scheduled about 3.30. Um, so after I hit in, hit in the cage, I'll go back and relax, maybe put on whatever I'm going to wear out to BP, you know, usually a hoodie and uh, and pants and stuff like that. So we'll hit from 3 to 5, come back in and have pregame spread. And then pretty much what we'll, everybody does before then it, or before the game is just kind of whatever you need to do to get ready. I like to uh, – I'll go in and – not really nap, but take like a little visualization and meditation time. Um, I'll try to read my Bible a little bit before I go out and pray. And um, usually like right before I go out to uh, to the line to stretch, I'll text my wife, tell her I love her and get ready to, you know, like I'll, I'll see her there. I, I, I always aggravate her. I say, if you show up late, check the score, check the box score. If I've got a hit before you get there, don't come in. If I'm over, you can come in. But if I've got a hit, just let it keep rolling. So, but uh, yeah, I uh, I usually I usually try to keep a pretty not strict but pretty solid schedule. Um, do you prefer burgers or pizza? I'm a red meat guy. I'll take a burger every day of the week. <laughs> um, beside, uh, what's your favorite like place to get burgers at? Like any certain restaurant? Yeah, we uh, we found a cool place here in Atlanta called Grindhouse, and um, it's almost – it's kind of like a Five Guys. It's just a little bit different. And so, like, just to having the options of basically being able to customize your burger, um, get to go in there and get something different every time. So if you're ever in Atlanta, check out Grindhouse. Um, besides burgers, what's your favorite food? 
I'm a steak guy. Me and uh, me and Kenzie love our steaks. Um, the uh, one thing we definitely have enjoyed the West Coast for is sushi. Though we love to go get sushi when we're out in California, and uh, she grew up just north of Seattle, so everything on the West Coast seems to have really good sushi out there. So, um, what's your favorite restaurant? Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, there's a place in Scottsdale um, called Toro. They have a really good steak up there. So Toro Steakhouse. Um, and then I guess sushi restaurant would probably be, we went to uh, Sugarfish in LA and it was, it was pretty good. Very basic stuff, but it was very good. Um, do you like, do you like, like to cook? Oh yeah. We love to cook. I, uh, we like, to, it's, that's the best part about the off season is we got a little bit more time. So we get to try some new recipes and, you know, Add a little sprinkle of this, add a little sprinkle of that, and try try different stuff. So we definitely like to cook. What's your favorite thing to cook? Mm, I uh, I'm good at about five things, and I'm trying to expand that horizon. So um, today, just for game day, we're watching NFL. We're uh, we did chicken wings. We uh, baked and air fried some chicken wings. Um, I think I can cook a pretty mean steak. Um, and then I've got a couple down home recipes. Like my mom makes a really good chicken casserole. So I love to copycat that. <laughs> um, who's your favorite baseball player like of all time? Ooh, that's a tough one. I, um, being from Tennessee, the closest team to us was the Braves. So I was a huge Chipper Jones fan as a kid, but, uh, I was also a big Ricky Henderson fan. And if you, you if you don't know that name, definitely give him a Google. He was, he was a stud. Um, met Ricky Henderson in Cooperstown. No kidding. That's awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Um, besides like baseball, do you have a favorite player of like sports? Yeah, I, uh, I'm a, I, especially recently, um, big fan of CJ Stroud. Um, he's always outspoken and very strong about his Christianity. And, um, it's, it's tough sometimes, especially in the spotlight to, um, be vocal about your faith, and I uh, I love the fact that he's proud and willing to you know share and te and give his testimony and in the media and and I guarantee he does it in the clubhouse. So I'm uh, I'm a big fan of him right now. Uh, do you have a or what's your favorite stadium like in general? Oh, uh, I really didn't get that many. I really didn't get that many places under my belt when I was in the big leagues this year, but I definitely think Philadelphia was a really fun environment. I was uh, I was there during some pretty cool moments. Bryce Harper hit his 300th homer while I was there, and then uh, Trey Turner was getting hot. And those fans are they 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 get wild. So that was definitely a really cool environment to be a part of. Um, does facing someone like Kershaw or like Otani scare you? No, it's uh, the the goal every day we set out is to post and um, and you know to face the top competition. So facing somebody like that, it's just it's a great challenge. And um, you can either be nervous or excited, and you're not going to win with fear. So you have to go out and be excited. So um, even sometimes when you do get a little nervous, you got to trick yourself into going out and attacking the situation. So, um, but just, it's an honor to be able to like play against and face talent like that and guys that are legends. So, no, it's definitely an exciting, exciting time. Day or night games? Probably day games. I feel like I see the ball better during day games. Um, I feel like it's just, I don't know, easier for me to pick up pitches, I guess. So I would, I would have to say day games. What's the best baseball jersey of all time? Oh, man, that's a tough one. I, uh, I hadn't actually seen it until this year, but uh, the jersey I hit my first homer in was like a throwback uni from the Angels. That was a really cool one. Um, I, uh, I'm a big fan of the old Braves uni with the small – a, the lowercase a, when they were like royal blue and red. Um, so I really like that. So, um, what's your when you were a child? What was your dream team to play for? Hmm. I guess, I guess I would say the Braves, just because they were so close. But I was also a Josh Hamilton fan, so the Rangers were always kind of in my eye. And um, Texas always seems like a pretty cool place to play. Good weather. Um, Pretty cool fan base and Globe Life, especially the new stadium they have, was is pretty cool. So I guess Braves would be number one, and I guess number two would have been the Rangers. Uh, do you have a favorite celebrity? Huh. 
I'm a big fan of the show Peaky Blinders, so I guess I'd have to say Killian Murphy. I haven't really thought about that one. That's a good question. Um, also, uh, what celebrity do you think you look like? I, uh, <laughs> I might get laughed at this one, but I'd like to say Chris Hemsworth. I, uh, one of my, one of my family friends used to call me Thor and joke around. So I like to, I like to at least use that a little bit. So what was the best movie uh, ever made? Oh man, this we might have to have a second video just for this question. I, uh, I'm a big fan of the movie Braveheart. Big fan of the movie um, Saving Private Ryan, and then um, I like I like Talladega Nights. World Flare is pretty dang funny, so I'd say those are my top three. How, will that work? Yeah. <laughs> um, what's your favorite genre of music? I'm a country guy. If I had to pick one to be the top, country would be the number one for sure. Why did you pick like um, your a certain walk up song? I um, personally, I, I want to be outspoken in my faith and I want to be able to witness and give my testimony. And, uh, you know, with so many people coming to games, it's it, impossible to sit down with each one of them. And so I felt like it was just an easy way to share God's word and, and uh, where I stand in my faith. And so um, I, it just kind of seemed like a no brainer to, to pick some kind of Christian song that I would move forward with in the past. I'd had, uh, um, a couple buddies in the music industry that I use some of their music, but I just felt like that was uh, a chance to use my platform to um, be able to share the gospel. So that's that, that was how I picked mine this year. Do you have a favorite hat? Uh, like baseball cap, like what we play in? Yeah. Um, let's see. I uh, I'm a big fan of our City Connect hats with the Angels. Um. I, uh, I also like the Rocket City hats when I played there in Double A. They were pretty cool. So like the all black with the white RC was pretty cool. And then it, you know, with the with the Angels, probably the white front City Connect hat. Are you a Elvis Presley fan? Oh yeah, big Elvis Presley fan. <laughs> me and uh, me and my wife actually watched the the movie about him the other day. It was pretty cool. So. Um, what's your favorite song? Big fan of White Christmas, but I don't know if you can go wrong with Hound Dog. That's just the classic, right? Yeah. So. Um, and then also, are you a Taylor Swift fan? I, I'll i never turn her on. I'll never turn the Taylor Swift music on. But if it comes on, I probably know way more lyrics than I'm proud to admit. Do you like Tennessee better than Anaheim? Yeah. I just, growing up back home, it's... It's always going to hold a special place in my heart. I hope to spend a lot more time in Anaheim in the near and far future. Um, but, yeah, you, I'll never be able to take Tennessee out of my heart. So, Have you ever been to Disneyland? No, we didn't actually have that much time to go while I was there. But I'm hoping we get a few off days because my wife loves Disneyland. And so we definitely got to make a make a trip to it. Big, ro I'm a big roller coaster guy, so I got to get out there and ride some rides. Um, with the, like roller coasters, like have you been to Six Flags? I uh, I don't know if I've been to a Six Flags. I've been to the last with baseball. I really haven't got to go on that many vacations as of recent. So the last one I can remember, we went to a place called Bush Gardens in uh, in Tampa, and they have one that's like floorless. And when you get to the top, it like hangs over and pauses for a second, so you kind of see how high you are. And I think it's called the Shikra. Or something like that I, and it was I remember being young and it was always pretty scary so I think I've like seen that or heard of that or something yeah just your feet sitting there dangling it was always pretty got your heart racing that's for sure <laughs> um well I want to thank you like a lot for like spending the time talking to me and yeah, I of course I really appreciate it yeah of course it was great to meet you you did great yeah. I'm glad to be I'm glad to be the first guest um, we'll, we'll see you in Angel Stadium. Sounds good. We'll see you this summer. Yep. Thank you. Right. See ya.